Welcome to ADHD Power Tools, where we give you the tools to unlock the power within. Hello, Brooke. Today, I want to talk to you about procrastination. Uh, us with ADHD, procrastination is like our worst enemy. And um, we always try to figure out how to deal with it. Um, I want to ask you, is there ever a situation where procrastination is a good thing? That's what I want to ask you. Hmm. Reframing pre- procrastination. I like it. Mm-hmm. Well, funny you should ask. Um, sometimes we procrastinate because we don't have enough sleep. Our body isn't nourished. Uh, and we're not in our best focusing ability. So when that happens, it's definitely a good time to procrastinate because if Mm -hmm. you want to do your best work, you want to have your optimal focus, um, not treating your body with respect um, can actually affect that. So Mm -hmm. sometimes we procrastinate and in the end, it's actually a good thing because you need to nourish your body. Uh, another time is sometimes your first idea is not your best idea. So our creative brains can start flowing with procrastination. We build up these ideas that are even better than they were in the beginning, especially mm-hmm. when we're on a big project. Also, sometimes unnecessary tasks end up disappearing when you procrastinate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it just kind of gives you that time to reevaluate your to-do list, seeing what's important, what's not important. So in this situation, if you're procrastinating, you're actually taking a step back to think about not being impulsive into jumping into your Mm to-dos. I see what you're saying. It's like, um, it gives you that time to actually think things over a bit. Um, for me, procrastination, um, it's weird, you know, when there's something to do a task or, you know, a situation I need to, you know, complete, um, uh, sometimes having a deadline helps having that deadline helps because I mean, me with ADHD, I always end up going crazy under when I have a flame under me, really finishing the work. It happens a lot. I try and I try not to, I try not to do that and use my time wisely, obviously, but it happens all the time. Absolutely. And, um, the motivation when the time frame is shorter, your motivation to do something goes up. So procrastination mm-hmm. can actually improve your productivity because if you have that time, that short time span that you have to get something done, you're going to work even harder than if you had a longer time span. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we answer, we, we asked when is procrastination a good thing? Is there ever a time where it's a bad thing? And what are some ways we can maybe control that? Yeah, before I get into the bad thing, there was one other thing that I wanted to share. Um, sometimes we just don't have the right resources as well to complete a task. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I've been trying to film this course and record it for so long and I've spoken to you about it. And I just have not been able to get the right audio for it. And Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hours and hours on um, this audio. And Mm -hmm. if I had just pushed out the course the way that it was, I would have really, it wouldn't have been as good. So Mm -hmm. by asking for help and using the resources that I have and coming to a place of calm, resting my body, all those Mm -hmm. types of things, I was able think clear into what I actually need to get this Mm -hmm. done effectively and in a good manner. (laughs) Exactly. I guess it is a good thing sometimes. Exactly. Exactly. So you asked me when procrastination is a bad thing. Yeah. Well, when, when someone's relying on you uh, to do something and you've given them your word, um, you're out of integrity when you aren't completing it and you haven't communicated to them that you're not going to communicate mm-hmm. about certain deadline. So your vision changes be- and you're not bringing them into that vision with you. Mm-hmm. Also, mm-hmm. Um, 
if you have a goal that you are 100% in control of and you've already figured out the value of the goal, the, the purpose behind it, and you're just pushing it off because you're fearful of it or you're afraid of it, those kind of things, then you know it could wear on you. So mm -hmm. again, I would go back to that question is like, you know, why do I have to fear? Do I need more knowledge? Do I need more information to be able to tackle that? Or do I just need to simply just do it and mm -hmm. um, reframe the negative thoughts and get it done? Mm -hmm. That's the phrase right there. Just do it. You just start it and you'll, you'll, you'll fall into, you know, maybe the hyper focus and get it out the way. It's mm -hmm. just that little step of um, starting is, it's real yeah. tough. The activation piece is huge and mm -hmm. knowing your purpose, your values and how they relate to what you're trying to accomplish is very important. Also being able to feel energized before you do a task is important. I know we spoke about that in long arduous tasks mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. this uh, episode, but also being able to body double is helpful as well. In Coaching with Brooke community and the Facebook community, we have a body doubling group and um, our adults are just body doubling every day to just get mm. done things that they don't necessarily feel motivated about, but they know that they have to do it. What, what, is body, what is body doubling? So body doubling is where you get on a screen. So it could be mm -hmm. like us right now. It could mm -hmm. be on a phone with FaceTime, it could be Zoom, whatever. And each person shows up, says something that they want to do, and they do it in front of the computer. So it could be you know, uh, studying, it could be taking notes, reading, uh, doing laundry, mm -hmm. uh, whatever, something that's mundane that they have to personally do and mm -hmm. decided they can't delegate it and it just needs to get done. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other person tells them what they have to do. Then they mute themselves and they actually do it for 50 minutes. They come back on the screen after 50 minutes and from there talk about what they've done. So now they're accountable to the other person Mm -hmm. And so many of us um, just need that person there to be accountable to. The accountability right there. I help. Yep. hundred percent helps me out a lot too, as well. When I'm doing schoolwork, having a study group right there, working together, hundred percent. Mm -hmm.